this video, I'm going to show you how you can make a very simple freestanding tablet holder for your exercise equipment that you use in your garage. So as long as your garage has exposed wood beams, you can easily make one of these freestanding tablet holders for yourself. So let's have a quick look at this one. So you can see here I use a cross trainer and this is a 10 inch tablet that I place onto the tablet holder. So it's completely independent from the actual cross trainer. So it won't shake around or move around when you're using your exercise equipment as it's completely independent from it. So I'm just gonna take the tablet off a minute and show you the design. So you may think this is actually attached to the roof rafters. It's not, it actually slides up such as so. So you can see this is simply made from a piece of batten, which I had lying around in the garage another piece of wood again which I had lying around so it didn't actually cost me a thing to make if you did buy this wood it probably cost you around I don't know maybe 15 quid these days because wood is actually quite expensive these days but it depends on where you live in the world but again it's a real simple design so to actually make this first of all I actually measured the actual width of the uh the roof rafter then obviously I cut everything to size and then I screwed and glued it together Probably screws is probably enough, but I did use a bit of glue just for extra security. So make sure when you, if you do make one of these, make sure it's a nice tight fit. That way then the actual tablet holder won't move around or wobble around. So make sure it's as tight as fit as possible. So again, the bottom section is just screwed into a bigger piece of wood. I've just put some smaller bits of wood on the side to stop the tablet sliding off just in case I did accidentally hit it. And I've also put a little key ring in with a staple gun, this this way I can then slide my headphone cable into the keyring and it keeps everything out of the way. So as long as your uh, roof beams are exposed, you can put this anywhere you want. If they are going obviously the other direction, then you obviously want to hook it on that way, such as so. I could have made one which hooked onto there, but I've gone for this this way. So you can place this thing anywhere in the garage. As long as the beams are exposed, you can place it anywhere you want to. So you can move your exercise equipment around and you can still place this tablet holder wherever you want. So again, it just simply slides on. As long as you cut the wood nice and straight, I didn't use any special tools. I just used a, basically a handsaw and I pre-drilled some holes to stop the wood from splitting. But as long as you cut it nice and straight and the wood's nice and straight, it should hook on pretty much even and level. So again, this slides on so I can slide it anywhere. I can put it over here if I wanted to and it just hooks on and you can see it just basically dangles in midair, nice and solid. Again, if you use slightly bigger wood, you know, if, if you did use a laptop, I would recommend using slightly thicker wood as this is quite a thin batten, but this is perfect. <coughs> this is perfect for a tablet. So let's hook it on here. So again, I can just hook it on and remove it every time I want to use it. So my particular tablet has got one of these kickstand covers. If yours didn't have a cover like this and it's just like that, say it's just like that, you could easily put a strip of wood along the middle and just rest it like so, and rest it back like that, and it would still hold in place like that. Again, I would maybe recommend putting another piece of wood along, along the along the front so it just adds a bit more support. So it doesn't really what kind of cover your tablet or your phone has, as long as you, you support it properly. So a piece of wood along the middle, and that would be perfectly secure. So when you do make this, obviously you want to make sure it's at the right height. So this one's probably, I don't know, maybe four and a half feet up the ground. So again, I can see all the controls on my cross trainer. So it doesn't interfere with the actual display so I can see all the times and all the settings and of course I can then watch the internet or listen to music from my headphones do whatever I want on the tablet so it's a really really simple design probably will cost you no more than 15 quid to make and I think it's a lot better than the ones you attach to your to the bars obviously these will shake around but this one's nice because it's freestanding it doesn't shake or wobble and as long as you make it reasonably good it should it should um hang level and so on. So really, it's as simple as that. Thank you for watching.